hello beautiful people welcome to another video today i have a latafa fragrance to review for you guys this is ajwad pink to pink i have the original ajwad which is a strong like for me so when i found out that there is ajwad pink to pink and when i read about the fragrance notes i'm like okay definitely since the original ajwad is a strong like for me let me try the pink to pink so if you care to find out about what i think about adjured pink to pink then stay tuned Before I share my review of Adjured Pink to Pink with you guys, if you are visiting the channel for the first time, my name is Amanda, this is Top Note by A, and to all my new subscribers, thank you so much, and to all my old subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for always supporting the channel. We made it to 1,000 subscribers already, and I'm very excited about that. That being said, let's review the fragrance from Latafa and this is Adjured Pink to Pink. This fragrance, you know, it's like pink, it's, it's, you know, it embodies the fragrance, I think. They did a very good job with the way they did the color of the box and then the box actually matches the fragrance bottle so it sits right here you open it like you you are opening a um what you call it like a really expensive gift and let's pull out the fragrance bottle the fragrance so guys <laughs> let me tell you guys one thing i don't like about the fragrance is the or the packaging of the fragrance is the cup the cap is not doing anything for the fragrance it's so hard to cap it and then you can't even hold the fragrance from the cap but apart from that let's spray the fragrance so that you see how it sprays just like any other latafa fragrance it's the fragrance opens with a burst of over ripening guava you do get sweetness from the lychee it gives the the opening of the fragrance this rosy this rosy raspberry like you know fruit to the opening of the fragrance and then the overripening guava is like what hits you you do have the pink pepper the pink pepper is not it's adding a little bit of like oomph and sexiness but it's not spicy to on my skin and to my nose but it, i feel like the pink pepper is also adding some sexiness some you know oomph to the opening of the fragrance and the overall performance of the fragrance as the fragrance dries down you do get the bouquet of flowers you do get rose in this fragrance yes you do get rose you get um peony rose and magnolia so what i get when the fragrance starts to dry down is like a bouquet of all these fragrances wrapped together it still wraps around the or the guava wraps around this bouquet of um flowers like the rose the peony and the magnolia that's what i get when the fragrance starts to dry down then in the dry down of the fragrance you get salty touches from the ambergris you do get the mossy feel you get the vanilla mind you the guava the overripening guava coupled with the lychee the sweetness from the lychee carries through the longevity of the fragrance from beginning to the end you do get the guava you do get the lychee once again you're not getting the spiciness that sometimes pink pepper gives to fragrances but you are getting this sexy vibe the dry down of the fragrance the leather in this fragrance shines the leather also add more sexiness to the fragrance the leather wraps all the fragrance notes into itself but then the leather is not overpowering the leather is not overbearing just like the pink pepper 
just like the pink pepper the leather is adding this oomph and sexiness and you know strength to the performance of the fragrance but it's not like a loud leather fragrance what i get when i spray this fragrance is a, um, a person who is new to leather fragrance will actually like this fragrance because it's not animalic it's not animalic by any stretch of the word it's just the leather is there the leather is performing but it's not an uh, animalic of a leather it's not masculine of a leather that is in this fragrance and i think it's because of the overripening guava and the juiciness from the lychee or lychee that you get it's it, it gives the leather like a sweetness you are getting sweetness from both the overripening guava you are getting sweetness from and you know raspberry rose touches from the lychee this fragrance is very feminine to my nose but then again wear what you want to wear when you want to wear and however much you want to wear so a guy can pull off this fragrance but to my nose and on my skin it's a very good feminine leather fragrance the fragrance is tropical it's you know it's sexy it's it's leathery but not overpowering it's leather but you know leather done right in a fragrance it doesn't come off like middle eastern fragrance if i'm not offending anybody it doesn't come off animalic it doesn't come off strong the leather but this fragrance is a strong fragrance the vanilla in here works together with the leather it works together with the lychee it works together with the peony and the magnolia you have this mossy vibe about the fragrance but it's not overwhelming if like it's not overwhelming it's there the mossy chapter but it's not overwhelming total dry down what you get once again you get the overripening guava you get the lychee you do get the leather you get the vanilla you get salty touches you know like salty saltiness in the dry down of the fragrance guys let's talk about performance of the fragrance this performs really well this is a beast mode of a fragrance this leaves a very beautiful scent trail especially the scent trail that this fragrance leaves it's more tropical more you know fruity more um floral it leaves this sexy vanilla uh, vanilla tropical central when you leave an area and everybody will be asking what are you wearing when i first got this fragrance which i think i got this from joma shop if i'm not mistaken my daughter was in love with this fragrance already to the point that i have to buy her another bottle because i will not part with this fragrance it is that good it's a fragrance that like i said performs very well beast mode um projection sillage central it's all beast mode that's what i want to say it lasts a day and a half on your skin it lasts two days three days in your clothes forever in your clothes when you spray this fragrance right so what weather can you wear this fragrance the, sorry the first time that i had this fragrance it was cold i wore it the night that i got the fragrance and then i wore it in the morning it was freezing cold it went perfectly well the second time it was more like spring like here in my state and this worked perfectly well the third time that i wore this fragrance was actually in the um mid 60s almost 70 degree weather here in my state and this also worked perfectly well so in my opinion this is an all weather fragrance you can take this fragrance from fall to winter spring summer wrap around back to fall winter so it's a versatile fragrance it's a fragrance that performs very well in all weather i would not pick like one weather because when it was cold it was performing when it was hot it was performing i'm not i haven't tested it in like maybe over 70 degree weather but for the weather that i tested these fragrance in it's very versatile and the fact that you know it's leather you know there is leather in this fragrance but you can wear it to bed 
is very amazing for me. I move on. You can buy Adjuad Pink to Pink from Amazon. They have it on Amazon. They have it on Joma Shop. They have it at Fragrance Buy, that CA. And I also want to say they have it at Triple Traders. And I will leave a direct link to all these websites for you guys in the description bar below. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. To all the new viewers, thank you so much. Everybody, do not forget to thumbs up the video. Leave comments in the comment section. Until I see you on another video, stay blessed, smell fabulous, and bye for now.